Volcanism, volcanism lasted 60,000 years. In this event, geologists uncover new clues about largest mass extinction ever. Global climate wrecked by volcanoes, and it caused the largest mass extinction ever. This is by Anthony Watt, and what's up with that? And it's from a recent University of uh, Tennessee at Knoxville article. The end Permian extinction amplified by plume-induced release of recycled lithospheric volatiles. The new study could help explain the driving force behind the largest mass extinction in the history of the Earth. It is known as the end Permian extinction. The event is known as the Great Dying. And this happened around 250 million years ago when a massive volcanic eruption in what is today the Russian province of Siberia sent nearly 90% of all life into extinction, 90%. Glo uh, geologists call this the eruption, this eruption, the Siberian flood basalts, and it ran for almost a million years. The scale of this extinction was so incredible that scientists have often wondered what made the Siberian flood basalt so much more deadly than other eruptions. This is what Michael Broadley says, the postdoctoral research, uh, research at the Center of uh, Petrographic and Geochemical Research in Van Or Le Nancy in France. He was the lead author of the paper. The work was published in Nature Geoscience, co-authored by Lawrence Larry Taylor, former director of the Planetary Geoscience Institute, University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Taylor, whose prolific career at UT spanned 46 years, passed in September of 2017 uh, at the age of 79. Now, according to Broadley, Taylor was instrumental in supplying samples of mantle xenoliths rock sections of the lithosphere, a section of the planet located between the crust and the mantle, that get captured by the passing magma and erupted to the surface during the volcanic explosion. Taylor also provided advi advice throughout the study. Throughout the analysis of the samples, Broadley and his team tried to determine the composition of the lithosphere. They found that before the Siberian flood basalts took place, the Siberian lithosphere was heavily loaded with chlorine, bromine, and iodine, all chemical elements from the halogen group, but these elements seem to have disappeared after that volcanic eruption. Broadly said, we concluded that the large reservoir of halogens that was stored in the Siberian lithosphere was sent into the Earth's atmosphere during the volcanic explosions. You can imagine all this in the atmosphere, all these toxic gases. So uh, they were sent into the Earth's atmosphere during the volcanic explosion, effectively destroying the ozone layer at the time and contributing to this mass extinction. So the end permanent extinction amplified by plume-induced release of recycled lithospheric volatiles. Magmatic volatile release to the atmosphere can lead to climactic changes and substantial environmental degradation, including the production of acid rain, ocean acidification, and ozone depletion, potentially resulting in the collapse of the biosphere. The largest recorded mass extinction in Earth's history occurred at the end of the Permian, coinciding with the emplacement of the Siberian large igneous province, suggesting that large-scale magnetism, magmatism, is a key driver of global environmental change. But the source and nature of volatiles in the Siberian large igneous province remained, remained contentious. Here we present halogen compositions of subcontinental lithospheric mantle xenoliths and placed before and after the eruption of the Siberian flood basalts. We show that the Siberian lithosphere is massively enriched in halogens from the infiltration of subducted seawater derived volatiles, and that a considerable amount, up to 70% of the lithospheric halogens are assimilated into the plume and released to the atmosphere during emplacement. Plume-lithosphere interaction 
is therefore a key process controlling the volatile content of large igneous provinces and thus the extent of environmental crises leading to mass extinctions during their emplacement. So you can imagine what happened to the atmosphere. And there's more evidence the Great Permian extinction 250 million years ago was caused by this massive volcanic eruption. New evidence that the Siberian volcanic eruptions caused the extinction 250 million years ago. This is from New York University. A team of scientists found new evidence that the Great Permian extinction, the Great Dying, as we know, which occurred about 250 million years ago, was caused by massive volcanic eruptions that led to significant environmental changes. The study, which appears in the journal Scientific Reports, reports a global spike in the chemical element nickel at the time of extinction, nickel also. The anomalous nickel most likely came from emanations relating to the concurrent huge volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia. And these eruptions, the researchers say, are associated with nickel-rich magmatic intrusions, rocks formed from the cooling magma that contains some of the greatest deposits of nickel ore on the planet. Using an induced and inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer, which measures the abundance of rare elements in their atomic level, the scientists documented anomalous peaks of nickel in the regions ranging from the Arctic to India at the time of the Great Permian extinction, distributions that suggest these nickel anomalies were a worldwide phenomenon. This new evidence of nickel fingerprint at the time of extinctions convinced the scientists that it was the volcanic upheaval in Siberia that produced intense global warming and other environmental changes that led to the disappearance of more than 90% of all species. Quote, the Siberian volcanic eruptions and related massive intrusions of nickel-rich magmas into the Earth's crust apparently emitted nickel-rich volatiles into the atmosphere where they were disrupt, distributed globally, end quote. This is what New York University geologist Michael Rampino says. He's the paper's senior author. He explains, at the same time, explosive interactions of the magma with older coal deposits could have released large amounts of carbon dioxide and methane, two greenhouse gases which would explain the intense global warming recorded in the oceans, and on land at the time of the mass extinctions. The warm oceans also became sluggish and depleted in dissolved oxygen, contributing to the extinction of many forms of life in the sea. This new finding, which contributes further evidence that the Siberian trap eruptions were the catalyst for the most extensive extinction ever Earth event Earth has ever endured, has exciting implications, end quote, said Sedelia Rodriguez, co-author of the paper and lecturer in the Department of Environmental Sciences at Bernard College. She said, we look forward to expanding our research on nickel and other elements to delineate a specific areas affected by this eruption. And in doing so, we hope to learn more about how these events trigger massive extinctions that affect both land and marine animals. Additionally, we hope this research will contribute to determining whether an event of this magnitude is possible in the future. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because 
We help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.